I'm Jessica Sowers, owner of Body Bliss Connection. I'm Jamie Marich. I'm a clinical trauma specialist, expressive arts therapist, author, and co-founder of Yoga Unchained. I am also the co-founder of Yoga Unchained. All right, so today we're gonna do tabletop pose. So I'll have Jamie come to her mat and she's going to come onto her hands and knees. She'll ensure that her fingers are spread nice and wide, that she's pressing equally down through the palms and stacking the shoulders over top of the wrists. One thing to be mindful here is to ensure that you're not locking the elbows out. You don't wanna bend in the elbows, but you want them soft to have a little bit of give to them. That also ensures that you start to utilize your biceps and triceps for the strength here and not dump into the joints. The other thing is to ensure that the hips are stacked over top of those knees. So go ahead and step your knees back just about an inch. Good, very good. Her knees will be placed about hip distance apart and she'll actively press down through the shins. We guide our belly in to wrap the spine to help create this nice long flat back creating a table. Our tailbone will not flip up but it's going to elongate and press towards the wall behind you. Our nose is perpendicular to the earth. So the belly is active we're actively using the biceps and triceps to press down into the hand, as well as the legs are active to press down into the shins, staying nice connection to the ground. We'll take nice deep inhale and exhale. Maybe one more to settle in. And then Jamie's gonna walk her hands towards her knees and come on out of tabletop pose. Hmm. How does table make you feel, Jamie? Honestly, sometimes I obsess with tabletop because I've had instructors cue that idea before. Imagine a plate of spaghetti or something is on the top of your back and I always wonder, oh, is it flat enough? <laughs> for that, I don't know. But fundamentally, it's, it's a really great pose for me. Uh, I feel it gets me ready for maybe more challenging asanas that I may do later. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so what about you? I like tabletop posture. Um, I find I can also obsess a little bit because I picture the whole plate of meatballs on my back and if there's gonna roll off the table, you know. Right. So um, I really have to be mindful of that. But I have also discovered that as long as I am utilizing my core to keep my core nice and strong and actively thinking about the crown of my head pressing forward while my tailbone is stretching back to create that long string, that helps me to feel the back being flat, yeah. which is a very good point for yoga because so many times we see a picture or an image of a posture and we try to duplicate that image. Right. That's not the real benefit of yoga. While it might look beautiful, that's not the benefit that we get out of it. The benefit is the experience of the posture on your body. And that is gonna be different for every single body that's out there. So any challenges you've seen folks have with table? Wrists can be a challenge with tabletop pose because we have that big movement in the wrist and pressure coming down. That's a nice big movement in that wrist joint. Mm -hmm. So it can be challenging for that. So a couple modifications that you can do are to use your fists to prop your body up or to come down onto the forearms again and take all the pressure out of the wrist completely. Okay. Another option that I like to use, I'm going to grab the blanket here. Another great yoga prop. Yeah, so if you have a blanket at home or, or anywhere really, um, you can utilize the blanket to help with that wrist as well. So I like to fold mine and then I roll it up. And you can roll it to varying levels if you don't want it so high, you just roll it a few times. And I place the palms of my hands on the rolled section while the fingertips are down. And notice how that changes the angle of the wrist, going from here to here. It takes a little bit out of that posture, so it removes a little bit of pressure from that. And for mm -hmm. psychological vulnerabilities, this can also mm -hmm. potentially be a blanket drape issue. It can be a blanket so drape. So if you have someone who, um, 
needs a little extra comfort or some internal awareness, draping the blanket over the body is always an option. Um, it helps them to perhaps feel a little less exposed. It also can help us to pull our awareness inward because we're, we don't have that openness out to the side world. So it helps us to pull our internal awareness in. I had that immediate experience today as soon as you draped me. It's mm -hmm. like, hmm, cocooned yeah. almost. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. So An Another option for modifications is to utilize the chair as well, one mm -hmm. of our other favorite props. So you can always have tabletop in a seated position, and you, you simply sit into the chair, your feet are flat, so this creates the angle where if your shins were on the ground and then your hips stacked over top of your knees, nice long lengthy spine, and you simply reach the fingers and the arms out in front of you, flex at the wrists, and press away. Very nice. So that's an option as well. Very nice. So a table is a building block for a lot of other different poses. It's a great way to enter and exit from Downward Dog if you've checked out our Downward Dog video. Mm -hmm. And in another video, we will also be doing the cat-cow sequence, which table will factor in prominently. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us for table. Table.